Hello everyone and welcome back to this Microsoft Dynamics 365 plugin development course. This is module number 2 that is fundamentals of plugin development and in this video we will see what is a plugin. Plugin is nothing but a custom business logic that you can integrate with Dynamics 365 for customer engagement apps in order to modify the standard behavior of the platform. So let us now understand this through a technical terms. So plugin is just really a .NET class which implements an iPlugin interface. Now where is this iPlugin interface coming from? This is coming from the DLL that will be provided by the SDK. So it is basically a custom code written and compiled in .NET that will be triggered when a specific event takes place within the specified entity of Dynamics 365 instance. So let us now understand this with an example. For a, consider that your company is selling a washing machines and along with washing machines you are selling the services to that washing machine also. So you are having three kinds of services that is basic services, standard service and premium service. So all this information that you are capturing in your Dynamics 365. So what does the business requirement is that whenever a customer purchases a washing machine from your company he is eligible to get the basic services. In this scenario, what thing you can do in Dynamics 365 is you can write a plugin. Whenever a sales record is created in your Dynamics 365, that, that will be your triggering point. And so whenever there is a sales record created in your Dynamics 365, you will automatically associate the basic services to that particular customer. One more thing you need to keep in mind is that Plugins can run only on backend, that means on the server, backend servers. It will never run on the client side, that is front end. That we have already seen uh, during the types of extensibility concept uh, in module number one. But I will reiterate what does that mean is that whenever you register a plugin, that plugin will always execute on the server and it will run irrespective of from where you are triggering that event. In other words, you can perform the same operation from UI or from custom applications or any third party application. So be it from anywhere, whenever a specific event is triggered and if any plugin is registered on that event, then it will automatically execute that business logic or business. With this, uh, what you need to keep in mind that for every single plugin, you need to tell the Dynamics platform that plugin needs to run for a certain action which is called as message in terms of plugins you need to define on which message the plugin will be triggered the message can be whether you are creating a particular record or whenever you are updating a particular record whenever you are deleting a particular record so dynamics 365 has huge set of message list on which you can trigger a plugin this process is called plugin registration that we will see in our module number two that how you can deploy, how you can register and deploy plugins in Dynamics 365. So this model, the model number one will be focusing only on the plugin development and plugin fundamentals. Another important thing to be keep in mind is that a plugin can execute for maximum two minutes. If your plugin is so complex and it takes more than two minutes of time, then plug that plugin will stop executing on the server. It's been so everything will be rolled back on the server. And for simplifications, we have divided this plugin into following sections: that is, plugin development, then plugin registration, and plugin debugging. First, you need to develop a plugin. Then you need to register the plugin on Dynamics 365 platform. And obviously, as a developer or technical uh, consultant, you need to very well know how you can debug a plugin. So that was all a brief overview about plugin. I think now you will have a clear and concise idea about what is a plugin. And don't worry if you don't understand much uh, from the first session. So just for your uh, simplification, keep in mind that plugin is a .NET class that implements high plugin interface as a maximum execution time limit of two minutes and you need to always tell Dynamics platform that the plugin that you have written 
needs to execute on which event that event or action is called as a message in dynamics 365 plugin context it's all about this video and in next video i will introduce you to the event framework of dynamics 365 thank you and hope to see you in next video